Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. Before we get into it today, I just wanted to remind you guys that I do have merch and it is a great way to support the channel to support me and if you would like to order some merch and have it arrive to you before Christmas, then you should get to it, get on it now because for the US the cutoff date is December 10th and for Europe it is December 11th. So if you would like to order yourself some froggy army merch and have it get to you by Christmas, then go ahead and order by the 10th for the US and by the 11th for Europe and yeah if you do thank you so much I love you and I love your support and then another quick reminder is to check out my Nookazon video that I posted I have a giveaway going on there and if you would like to enter it go check that video's description okay I think that's it so now let's get on to the video let me show you the area where I'm gonna be building this little hot spring area so this is my fairy core tea party area over on the topmost rightmost part of my island and I have like this rock over here to the right and then I have this big rock up here and then I've got kind of a little rock back there behind that silo you can't really see it but I do clear out some space for it so this is generally you know the area that I was planning to do I actually didn't end up doing anything over on the right rock but that's totally okay. So like most um, areas and speed builds that I design, I really only had like a core idea and I didn't plan out the details or anything like that. So here's me um, in the beginning area, just kind of trying to figure out what exactly I'm gonna do here. I know I wanted to incorporate this back rock. You can kind of see it better now. It's got a lot of good real estate <laughs> for me to use that back there. So I knew I wanted to kind of shave off some of this cliff area. That my orchard is on i have a lot of unused space back there that i just never really figured out what to do with so i was like hey that's that's gonna be totally perfect i'll just get rid of that and then i'll have some space down there we can access that little medium-sized rock so first i just kind of tried to you know figure out what i was doing with my orchard up here i had to move some of the trees and uh yeah look at all this cliff space that was just unused. Can you believe it? A lot of time was spent kind of fiddling with this so while my past self kind of messes with the tree and orchard and cliff area I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 60k. What the heck? We literally just hit 50 literally just a few weeks ago so just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. This is the best Christmas present I could have ever asked for and that means we're only 40 K away from 100k? Is that not crazy? We're more than halfway there. It's just so amazing. I feel so blessed. So thank you guys so much. 100k is actually my goal. Like that's just my goal. After that, I have I have no idea. But I don't even, I don't know. If we get there, I'm gonna be so happy. If we don't, it's okay. But that is my goal. Somebody did ask me that this past live stream. They asked me what my sub goal was, and I was like, you know what? I never told you guys. It is 100k. So I'm very excited. We're really like on the road. Like I see it before it was like not even not even possible, like not in the realm of existence for me. And now it's like I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I, it's it's going to happen probably. So just wow. <laughs> just wow. And uh, yeah, I'm already brainstorming stuff to do for like 100K. I, I'm going to make it really exciting. So if we get there thank you thank you to every single one of you who has hit that subscribe button because you are the reason that we are this close and you will be the reason if we ever get there so yeah just pat yourself on the back and if you haven't subscribed then listen you should be part of this of this journey with us it's really fun but anyway like i said in the beginning i will tell you guys the reasoning for this build i know this isn't really like christmasy and um it's really kind of a stretch to make it wintry it's just snowing on my island and i added two christmas decorations and i yeah anyways <laughs> so um, in middle and high school, I had a best friend and I would go to Colorado to go skiing with her and her family all the time and it, they're some of my fondest memories. We always had such a blast, you know, being in a place where you don't get snow and it doesn't really get cold. Like going to Colorado was amazing for me and I got to see so many cool sights and, you know, like actual snow and <laughs> that's like, I think that's the only times that I've seen actual snow. So anyway, yeah, we would go skiing all the time in these ski resorts in Colorado. And sometimes we would stay in like these little timeshare condo type of things, which were really pretty. And they were kind of like little cabin-y kind of vibes, but they're really pretty. And then 
most of the time it would be kind of like a hotel where they would also have like a pool area like a public pool area for everyone and after skiing like you're like you're all i don't know how to describe it you're all like a raisin and like shriveled up and like cold and like you're you're sore your legs hurt everything so the best thing to do after skiing is to go into a hot tub like ugh, just the best feeling i wish right now it was nighttime and we and i was done skiing on the mountain and i just could go dip my legs into the hot tub <laughs> it's it's honestly the best i don't know how to describe it it's just so good it feels so nice so anyways um of course it's colorado and it's skiing time so of course a lot of times there's gonna be snow on the ground and it's freezing outside so a lot of times we would go to the hot tub after skiing and I remember this one time specifically, the hot tub was outside, like not inside of a little pool building. It was outside, like out in the open and you would have to go like walk out of the building to go to the, fr in, you know, like walk on the freezing cold floor in just your little bathing suit and you just had to be freezing cold literally when it's like lightly snowing. And then you jump in the hot tub and it's like, ah, all warm. There is just something about that. like it's snowing and you were all nice and warm and cozy like all of your body that was in the hot tub but the top half of you and like your face was like freezing cold and it's like you make your you would make your hands wet with the warm water and then like put them on your face and it was like ah like defrosting yourself and i don't i just there's just a feeling there that i can't explain and i tried to capture that in the speed build so that's what I kind of was inspired by. That time when we would go to those hot springs outside and it would be snowing all around us and there you would literally see snow piles like a foot away and we would like bring snow into the hot tub. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I was kind of inspired by and I tried to recreate this and you know, since I don't really get winter where I live, those are my memories of winter. Th that's what I think of when I think of winter. So. I was like, you know what, I'm doing winter speed builds on my island right now, let's just do kind of like a little hot spring. It's not the same as a hot tub, I did make it a little more like cutesy, but yeah, that's kind of the vibe that I had. And I, I, it's very specific, and I tried to make it work. I literally had to incorporate winter, fairy core, and hot spring aesthetic. I don't know what that is. I guess kind of, um, kind of like Japanese hot spring inspired, I did use a few items, so yeah. That is my very random and specific memory-based explanation of my inspiration for the speed build. I hope you liked it. <laughs> and uh, if you've ever been skiing in Colorado and you know the hot tub life and stuff like that, let me know. I would love to know if other people also have the same experience as me because it's just, it's amazing. It was, those are some of the best memories of my life. But yeah, like I said, I did have to combine literally three aesthetics. I tried to keep this fairy core, so I kind of tried to just use um, white wood, white, pink, a little bit of green. I did put that little green bamboo decoration thingy. Yeah, it, it was kind of difficult. And then I also tried to keep it wintry, which I kind of, I kind of failed. <laughs> it's not really winter or Christmas, which is fine. Like. Once I go back to spring and I, you know, I'm done with my island and I save it in the springtime, this is going to look just as cute. It's going to look perfect. So I'm fine with that. But because of that, um, because I had to incorporate a lot of different aesthetics and also make it fit on these rocks, which are pretty small, like you don't get a lot of real estate here, um, especially with the, like the hot spring item, it's really big and it takes up a lot of room. So. I was very much struggling and uh, if you see me picking stuff up and just like putting it back down and rearranging a million things, I am so sorry. That's just, that's just the way it goes. <laughs> this one, yeah, this is one of my more nitpicky builds and I feel like I get a lot more nitpicky the smaller the space is because I can only fit so many things and I really want to make sure that it's all perfect. So maybe some of the other ways that I arranged it you like better or maybe that would fit better on your rocks. So I include it anyway because it could always be helpful to people or inspire people or, you know, just stuff like that. And even if you don't like this build idea specifically or, you know, if you just are like, Raven, I don't like this, whatever, just take away this one thing from this video. Just take away this one thing. Utilize 
your rocks because I know I just said that they don't have a lot of space, but at the end of the day, it's it's still extra space and I think you should utilize it because I mean, you'll see at the end here, like I did all this on the rocks and I think it came out great. It's a nice little area and I just managed to squeeze it all in and it looks really cute. Makes my island look more full. What actually inspired me to use my rocks and what taught me that there is a lot that you can do on your rocks was actually Judy Crossing Life. If any of you guys know her, she was the very first Animal Crossing YouTuber that I ever like really watched. And uh, that was before I ever even dreamed of starting YouTube. So she has this decorating um, tutorial video where she builds like this little beach cafe on her rocks. And I was like, wow, you can really do so much. Like she really opened my eyes with that video. So I will link it for you guys. It's a really good video. And you don't even have to go as far as to make like a whole scene. You can literally just like slap a picnic blanket down and like a fruit basket and like some cups and stuff like that. It's like, there we go, picnic on the beach. Done, easy. <laughs> the only thing I feel like I'm really missing from this speed build, and it's definitely not a complaint, it's just something that's physically impossible, is some palm trees. I would have loved to put some palm trees like behind the rocks. I wish I could have like floating palm trees or something in the water. I could have put them in the sand in front of it, but I feel like they would kind of obstruct the view and I wanted to keep it clear and open. So that's the only thing I feel like I'm missing, like some vertical height. Palm trees would have been the best. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm, why I'm telling you this. It's just something I long for. And Nintendo, please just give me like floating platforms that I can just slap in the water and I can like put stuff on them. Imagine if we could have like floating water houses and you just had to swim to them and like climb on them to go in the house. That would be so cool. But alas, it will never happen. So at this point in the speed build, I'm just kind of figuring out this last little empty space chunk area thingy. And I decided to put a hedge back here and I chose hedges to kind of use as little fencing areas because I really like how they look in the winter time. Just like their little frosty leaves and they got the snow on them. Just, ah, it's so cute. I don't know what it is. All the, s the fences, when they have snow on the top of them, I just like want to explode because it's so cute. I don't know why. Just that little tiny detail. It's like, ah, thank you, Nintendo. Thank you. So I played with um, putting this palm tree lamp because like I said, I was missing vertical height. And I was like, maybe I can just put this fake palm tree lamp, but I just felt like it looked weird. Especially with the snowflakes, they're kind of like a different shade of pink and this is like a very bright, not hot pink, but it's like brighter than the snowflakes and I felt like they kind of didn't match. So I ultimately decided not to put that there. And um, yeah, I just I just really like the hedges. Sorry, country fence. Uh, I did use some log stakes though. I felt like those looked really good. Log stakes, I feel like look so cute on the rocks. I just, log stakes are so underrated. All right, wait. Do I like log stakes better than country fence? I think I do. Because you can actually make them birch. And country fence, I love it so much, but you cannot customize it to be white. We were talking about this on our stream, last stream, when I was decorating the inside of my house. Um, we were talking about like how they showed us the white fences and the trailers and stuff like that for New Horizons, and then no white fence. We just didn't get it. And some people were telling me that that was in the beta and then they scrapped it, which is fine, but it just makes me so mad what we could have had. Nintendo, I could have done so much with the white fences. Why why did you do this to me? <laughs> but anyways, um, I kind of finished up that rock. So now I kind of wanted to put something on like this little pathway to the other rock because I kind of felt like it was empty. So I needed like a little transitional piece from this way, uh, from the big rock to the little rock. And I did try to play with putting down like the little washing basin bin thingy on that rock, but I think I ultimately decided to put it on the other one because I didn't really have that many, well, as many items left. And uh, yeah, I really thought this rock was like big. I was like, wow, I'm gonna be able to fit so much in here. And then I put down this and it's like, oh, there goes all my space. <laughs> this thing really just eats up space. It's funny except i don't laugh because i am in pain but yes i uh, continue my addiction of putting custom designs underneath of objects and i put the little cherry blossom petals which i think is just gonna be so cute when i have my island in cherry blossom season it's gonna be the best so yeah 
And it also like has kind of like the Japanese Zen garden type of vibe inspired. Wow, that's a lot of buzzwords. You know what I'm talking about. Cherry blossoms. And then here I'm just playing with um, using a mush parasol or the palm tree lamp because I want that vertical height and I was like, okay, I could put one here next to the bamboo and I could put one over there in that corner and I was just like flip-flopping them to see what I liked best. Ultimately, I went with the mush parasol on the rock and the palm tree over there next to the bamboo and then I started playing with what I'm going to put on the rocks because like I said, I'm very, I get very nitpicky when um, there's not a lot of space and I was like, okay, I literally have like five spaces right here. What am I going to put? <laughs> so I decided to put that little washing basin, washing thingy, washing tub and a little magazine because I like to imagine while we're sitting in the hot tub on my island, we're reading our magazines and stuff and that's why I also have the magazine rack on the other one next to the other one so that was kind of my vibe like a spa kind of like a spa vibe you know like you got the cucumbers over your eyes and you're reading a magazine and you're all cute yeah that and then i did start to put some stuff on the beach just you know kind of fill up that little empty area it's a really awkward portion of sand right there but yeah i do a little more with that later and then for now i wanted to work on kind of like a little sitting area i was imagining like a waiting area like a little spa waiting area where you're either sitting and waiting for the hot tubs or if you're, you know, transitioning from one to another one or whatever. You just want to chill with your little face mask on, something like that. So I did put a little uh, wood bench right there with some little incense or fragrance or whatever it is. <laughs> and then I did want to put um, the bench more to the left because I felt like it looked better. So I was like, wait, I got to shave off this cliff a little bit because it's kind of blocking. So I did that and it looks a little better. And then whenever I can't really think of what to put in like a little spot like this, I just try to make like a little path and then kind of build around the path. So I did my little stones as a path, you know, kind of leading you from one hot spring to another. Nothing too special, nothing too fancy, just filling out the area, just slapping some custom designs, adding a bucket to the beach, and then, oh yes, I totally forgot, I did not end up keeping that bench. I think I changed it to a moon chair. Because I really wanted to put a moon chair because I don't know, just I feel like I don't give them enough love. I don't know why. I don't have that many on my island and they are so beautiful and so fairy core. So I did add a white one just to keep it simple. I didn't want it to take up too much attention by making it a bright color like pink or yellow. I just kind of wanted it to be in the background. And then I added a little holly bush to make it kind of Christmassy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that really counts as Christmas, but there's a bush. And then I did go ahead and add this little cherry blossom bonsai there to that rock. And then I also noticed that I had kind of like an empty area there and I did want some more vertical space like I keep saying. And I kind of wanted to incorporate more of the zen vibes. So I added that bamboo tree. I think it's cute. It doesn't block too much. Um, it didn't block any of the main areas, which I'm happy with. And then I went ahead and added a little bush, just kind of like a regular bush, not holly bush. and moved over my nova light in this little area to take up some of that empty space and then i know i wanted to add some more hedges somewhere and it kind of felt empty back here like you don't really you can't really tell when you look at it um from a regular camera angle but if you look at it from like the top view you can kind of tell it's a little empty so i added those little hedges in the beginning and then just added some custom designs onto the beach and kind of picked up those weeds i don't know how they spread they spread on the beach i didn't even know that but yeah, added like a little sapling and just adding some few extra details. My little star custom design that I'm in love with. And some extra weeds here and there. Just planting and replanting them until I get the ones that I like. I am picky about the weed shapes. I know. I just, I have a preference, okay? And with that, that is the whole thing. That is the speed build. So we come up and we have our main hot spring area complete with magazines little lounge chair and just some little decorations and good vibe items and then we've got our little in-between area where you can sit and wait on the pretty moon chair and our second hot spring attraction just over there on that smaller rock so yeah that is that is it here are this week's fan art submissions thank you guys so much for submitting as always i really like when you guys draw me in quack i 
just it just warms my heart so thank you so much there are two in here today so shout out to you guys i love when you draw the two of us together and just thank you guys for all your effort i see it all and i appreciate it so much you guys are so talented and i'm so honored that you use your talents to i don't know draw me and make me happy so thank you so much that's gonna be it for me today you guys i know it was kind of like a random speed build like nobody asked for this 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 is supposed to be christmas time raven but it made me happy and i liked it and i hope you liked it too and i hope you found some inspiration from it that is always my goal don't forget about the giveaway I have going on over on my Nookazon video. You have until Saturday to submit a comment down there. There's instructions in the description. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and join our Discord if you would like to hang out with the fun Froggy Army community. Uh, everyone is great in there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.